Alan Paolini and I'm a principal with Statera and I lead our human performance practice. Uh, my background uh, includes about 20 years uh, in both consulting and uh, corporate positions, uh, mostly around human performance, change management, sales effectiveness. Uh, I define my job as um, I help people and companies um, accomplish, get to a higher level of performance uh, most successfully. So as we think about change management, in the way I look at it, I, I look at three key things, right? The first thing is change management is really about minimizing business disruption and maximizing user adoption. So think about it as, as you're trying to go from a current state to a future state. You're trying to do that by minimizing the business impact, right? Uh, so make sure that you don't lose any revenue, you don't lose any, you don't impact your customers, and you're also trying to maximize user adoption, right? You're trying to make sure that the people that are going to be impacted by that change take it uh, as well as possible and are as successful as possible. Um, so minimizing business disruption, maximizing uh, uh, user adoption. The second big component of change management is, uh, is it's a process. Uh, so it's not like switching on a light, right? It's not a light switch. It's, it's very much about walking and helping people navigate through a transition process. So think about the last time you had to deal with a significant personal or professional change, right? Something really big, right? Something you found out that was really bad news or something you changed, your job changed. Well, how did you deal with it? Well, everybody, you know, the brain is connected in such a way that everybody goes through it pretty much in the same way, right? People start with feeling really angry about it, and uh, disappointed and surprised and shocked and then they get into denial and then they that's all the change resistance you go down the curve right uh, and then you get into confusion and then um, self-pity and why is this happening to me and then progressively you rationalize the change you get into the other side of the curve and you climb back up right and you start thinking about well how is this change really going to do things for me and maybe actually my uh, I can create myself a better position out of this and actually I may end up in a better spot Right? So you rationalize the change and you go through feelings of uh, acceptance and energy and hope and enthusiasm and, and, uh, and commitment that gets you basically to the future state. Well, that process, managing that process, when you do it individually, that's great. Well, companies have to do it as well when they have to go through a significant business change. It's a lot more complex because you do it with multiple people and multiple parties, but it's the same process. So uh, that's the second big thing. And then the third uh, big item about change management is it's a discipline, right? It's, it's as, uh, it needs to be as structured and, and as uh, controlled and managed as any other thing. And we have tools for that, and we have templates, and we have a methodology that we walk through. And there's lots of different methodologies that you can use. But in the same way as you plan your testing for an application that you're implementing, you need to plan and execute um, your approach uh, to change management so that you maximize uh, the transition for people.